and he's like eating raw bannock. I was like, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I have no idea. Bannock. Yeah, yeah. So good. Cheers, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, like That's work. Mm -hmm. Smooth it out. I can't stand that for you. It's almost 11, dude. I yeah, may have to like try it. to get that long fire going. Why don't you like it? It's really almost 11. Okay. It's a cocky twist of words and phrases. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like I don't like, I don't like that. because Nazmic said it. I thought it was like 8. Yeah. I got away with words. No, it's I feel like it. enjoying yourself. Yeah. Is a bad. I like the quote. I like Nazmic. He's a cornball, but I like everything he did. Yeah. There's something, he grew up like you were me. saying earlier, Mitch, like about the uh, how the double bit is this. It's not the ideal tool. It's, it's a trinket. It's yeah. Not, yeah. Well, if it has 12 inches a handle, it's a trinket. In my opinion, it's not enough weight. Mm. Yeah. It's too small. You, you're not bit. splitting oak with that, dude. You're just not doing it. No, you can't handle it. In the heavy. double bit, it's like it's not like you're using it as a wedge and batoning it. Yeah. But. You need to double bit, yeah. a double bit. You need to you need to know your location where you're gonna go. You know, if you're gonna do his like, you drop a you drop a pine or a hemlock and you make a shelter leaned up against it. Yeah, totally that's a good way to put that. it, man. Yeah. Jim's pocket axe is a cool tool. Yeah, I love that. Like those little saddle axes. Yeah, I think that's neat. Yeah, a light double amazing. bit. Yeah, there's a lot you can do with that. That's just it's just like a fun it'd be a fun thing to like craft in the woods with, you know? Oh just cost this little one. And then I occasionally do get to oh, God man. Oh, ah. Someone repost it. <laughs> it's too gooey. He's repping the council double. I can't believe you don't remember Ben, dude. I thought you were the one that's like, dude, you have to stop eating that. <laughs> we were like cooking on a log. This kid showed up like in the fall when it was actually pretty cold. It was rainy and with, with like shorts and I, like I, I sneakers, know who dude. Yeah. I was like, I, well, I invited him. He's one of my students. He ate a bunch of raw bannock. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> did, he, did, he, did he really? I didn't yeah, realize. Dude. He hiked it's just throw, every time someone cooks sandals. bannock, I think of that. Like it was just funny to us, you know. It's like, dude, you're gonna get sick though, you know. Mm. Yeah, but, you know, do what you want. Yeah, you it's like, dude, it you know, I made it for people to enjoy. If you enjoy the raw <laughs> shit, go for it, dude. It's like <laughs> rock dough, you know? You know? <laughs> Brownie you. batter. You want to you take it <laughs> somewhere off in the woods a little deeper and rub it all over your face? Cool, man. Here, have a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You're still enjoying it. Sure. None of your business. It puts the bannock okay. to your face. <laughs> <laughs> I got my own bannock recipe. Yeah, I call yeah, it banana. Really no one wants mine. <laughs> I saw a box of Jello over there. I'm like, what the? <laughs> that, was, that was my wife's suggestion. That's hipster ban hips banner. <laughs> Mine got out of control. I'm totally People need to calm down. I'm gonna get like the the, um, the chocolate. Paige uh, Paige McMahon um, was writing for Self Reliance Illustrated. So was I at the time, but she had, she had her like I I would just write contributing articles that would be in every every other magazine or whatever. But she like had her own column. Every every month, dude, no joke. And um, she she wanted like a, a bannock recipe, so she came to me and asked me because somehow I got known as like the, the bannock guy. So I was making like pine bannock and all sorts of craziness, dewberries and stuff and whatever. And her article was like Mitch's famous bannock, and she like had me like give her my recipe and take pictures and the whole bit. And it was like really flattering, but I'm like. Yeah, my, Dude, first my bannock isn't like, like, no, like you're writing articles like, about it. Like this, <laughs> like, what is happening right now? Like, oh my god! My first recipe was from your video. It was just really weird. I didn't know how to take it. I still don't know how to take it. I, I actually went real old school with mine and used used the uh, Nesbix. I mean, my bannock is like hard tack recipe. That backlog is on fire. I know. I'm Maybe watching it right now. That bar, I, I don't bar. know. It, just, it made me feel kind of weird. Because yeah. then, because then, all of a sudden, everyone thought that was like, oh, dude, like um, Mitch, like, like where's the hang You know, you got to make your your famous bannock and blah blah blah. This is mine. Yeah. Got to make your famous bannock, dude. Yeah. I'm like, now my bannock's famous. <laughs> what? The, what? Yeah, but that's another level from Lost Pond Bread. Lost Pond Bread is really good. Yeah, that's stuff. it's like a hockey puck of like cake and blueberry muffins. Good. That I wouldn't mind if someone, uh, you know, wanted to make a, a re you know, some sort of a, a recipe thing, because that, that I feel like that would actually be like 
worthy of, yeah. of an article or something. It's definitely it's like something that you yeah. wouldn't be able, you wouldn't be able to. It does, I don't think it has the benefits of just being able to take the dry goods because you need like actual room temp things to be able to do that, you know. But to to do it for something like like your camp out, awesome. Well, my my bannock was um, it was. Like just whole dry like, goods yeah. in my bag. That's the whole thing about and it, right? I could, like being able to... That was the whole point. So yeah. it, I, I could literally you can't carry. Take everywhere. No, 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 no that's true. I could literally water. carry that and have it in my rough for six months and make yeah. it. It wouldn't matter. Yeah. That's the amazing thing about flour. Yeah. Because like it doesn't weigh much and it makes a lot of bread. Yeah. yeah. You know, and like that's like that's what they call the the uh, this the seed of civilization. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know what I learned a lot actually when I went, my girlfriend went vegan for a while. She did a cleanse actually. She did yeah. some type of cleanse and then went vegan for six months after. And I was like, I'll do it for you for the first month. And and um, when we baked, instead of using eggs, we used applesauce. Mm. And I'm like, that's from genius. Like I have applesauce in my pack right now. Like you, you yeah. can keep unsweetened applesauce. Yeah. When I was vegan, tent. we used pumpkin, canned pumpkin. Yeah, dude, yeah. and you you can bake mm. in the like you Perfect. can you can Perfect exit. actually bake things. You can rise and bake things absolutely without just the le you know with with a thickening agent in it yep. and and the leavener. Dude, like my most, my wedding was bacon. vegan. Oh, was it really? Oh yeah, dude, I had pumpkins as bowls. We had them all carved out yeah. for our, for our lentil soup. That's pretty sweet okay. though, dude. Yeah, yeah. We, we were we were hardcore vegan, dude. We did not mess around. There's some vegans that are like, oh, but we still eat eggs. I'm like, really? Yeah, like no. aborted comes, babies? So you're okay has... with eating aborted babies, but not like, well, they're like, oh, well, well, I mean, well, yeah, but, but, but fish isn't, fish isn't really meat. I'm like, really? That's mm. so funny. Cause when, when it's swimming around, it's born and all that stuff. It's Is an animal. You, and your, yours was sociological reasons. I don't know. Mine was real. Reasons. Well, well so no. I don't, so I don't like, know what that did means. you do it for the for your body and your health, or you did it because sociologically you don't no, like I, the idea I, of animals being consumed? Yeah, dude. Like, I, there's two different. You know, either way, it's like because yeah. most of the people I feel like who bend the rules, they know like holistic and, and vegetable based diets are better for them, so they start to omit animal product. But it was not for health reasons. Sociological reasons. Actually, think about where the animal comes from. You know. Yeah, what I, mean? I saw a video um, like that really farms. put me over the edge. I saw a video of. Um, two hunters up, um, I think it was northern Canada or Alaska, way up, you know, near, um, in the Arctic Circle or something. And they're hunting seals. Yeah. And, um, dude, the thing was still alive. Yep. And he, he skinned it when it was still alive. And it had all of its fur taken off. And it's just like, like a rabbit. We take all, all, it's just exposed meat. Yeah. And it, dude, it's laying in the snow. And he's just blinking, yep. like dude. I've seen looking it. around, and I was like, like, like a, a switch, me, a switch turned on in my brain, and I just was not the same person anymore. No, I saw that with foxes. They do that. Honestly, most fur fur, co fur companies do that because they don't want to risk ruining part of the fur, which is so. Yeah. It's like, dude, you're literally walking around dead. You're done. You know what I mean? You're already walking around dead. Bark Brothers. Sir. Oh, this thing. The bark brothers bark is so wet. The bark smells so good when it burns. Yeah, it does. Where'd Malcolm go? Did he go to bed or something? No, I don't think so. I heard him to the left over there. Uh, Are you in bed, Malcolm? Jim, your torch is insane. Look at that. Yeah? Yeah, he's in bed. Okay, no worries. Good night. This thing actually lights pretty well. Oh, I love the smell of birch bark burning. Birch bark. Bark, bark. Yeah, 
cash in, get some man. Mike is like, I want to go one layer. I'm like, all right, well, guess what? I'm going three logs high. Yeah. <laughs> Get everything I can do with my 1%. We are the 1%, says my phone. Yeah. And I have two rocks that are blockers. That's hopefully hitting my camp. Definitely advisable. And then pour it into a billy can and put it over the my fake campfire. <laughs> that is a sick long fire, man. Oh uh, yeah. That's gotta be what, twelve feet long? Long long say, fire? Yeah, yeah 14, 14, 14 yeah. feet long. Yeah. The long, long fire. Long two the longest uh, it's all feet. feet. The longest fire. Yes. I think it's gotta be about 75, 80 right here. Oh, yeah. dude, I'm at like 90 or 100 in my lab. Yeah, yeah I'm you're in it. I'm taking this guy hot. back a little bit. Smoking hot, dude. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad with the smoke, though, but when it blows that way, yeah, it gets stuck. All right, so here's my sleeping rig. It's going to be fast. My battery's about to die. This is uh, the Army Extreme Cold canvas sleeping bag with feathers and a polyester lining. Um, this is like from 1970s or 1960s, something like that. Extreme cold bag. Just don't make them like that anymore. I use the modern bivy over it. So, that's my sleeping rig. Um, this is my shelter. I still have to move my, um, my, uh, everything. <laughs> All my kit into here. But I use my little blanket like a rug in here so I'll be sleeping on the side and my kit will be over there so there it is so that's a wrap right there see you guys oh, turn it around here 
There you go. Uh, there I am. Ah, I will see you guys in the morning. See you. Good morning, YouTubers. Hope you slept warm and toasty last night. <laughs> Comfortable. Because I sure did. This canvas bag is awesome. I love it. I was actually too warm. My, uh, halfway down, actually all the way down on this, halfway down on my sleeping bag, I was, like, getting smoked out. It was pretty warm. Uh, it got below freezing, but, um, I don't know how much not too much just belly below freezing this is like a minus 20 bag so yeah right on we can make some tea and stuff yeah buddy yeah buddy now that i'm out of my lavu i'm just gonna make some tea and some food and stuff so i keep the stuff standing up in the corner of my lavu instead of inside my backpack as then it'll be laying down if it's in my bag my bag is laying down um, yeah, I keep my water inside a plastic bag inside my sleeping bag with me. It's nice and warm, like to the touch, to my cheek. Warm water is good in the morning. It's good to go. And my haversack, um, I just keep like a quick kind of kit ready to go in the morning. Got like my cutting board, um, spices, my food. I have bacon in there, my, um, my bandanas for cooking, things like that. Like my bananas and oranges are in there. This is just like ready to go. I can just grab this and any liquids that I need in the morning and take off to the, to the, to the uh, living room fire and leave my bedroom behind for now, which is right here. And then I can start my day. There's something over here in the water. I saw a mink a little while ago. I was still in bed. I missed it. But something was just swimming under the water right here. It was crazy. We were tracking it by like the subtle disturbances on the top of the water. And there's a bunch of mature tadpoles in here too, so I'm sure. Yeah. I think it went under the ice or something because I don't see its disturbances anymore. Anyway. No. Oh, wait a minute. Mm, yeah, I don't know. That was cool. That was crazy, man. It yeah. Like it swam from like way over yeah, there underwater like, all over there. Like, we, we could just chase and bait up against the shoreline. Yep. Yeah. I mean, we 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 we're, we're literally just like tracking it by its upper water <laughs> movements. It's pretty cool. We could tell where, where like whatever it was it stopped and it like went down deeper because then the water kind of like bubbled and circled in a single spot and because it's it like it was pushing up while it was going down and then it made a single like <clears throat> very fast like burst right near the ice line because it made a single line just yeah. on the left like it pushed really hard towards the shore like as if it was trying to like beach something you know trying to like bottom something out over here that I wanted to eat yeah man it sounds like a predatory fish yeah yeah, I think it went under the ice. That was cool. Did we miss it on film? Dude. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> That's wild, dude. It's gotta be fish or something. They gotta be feeding. Never seen a wake like that from a fish. Though. I mean, it's shallow, dude. So it could be, be. It could be a pickerel, like something, a pickerel or a bass, something that can move fast and in short bursts, and yeah, you know, and they're rushing this way to force it up, and force bait against the shore. 
to trap it. That definitely wasn't the wind. That was one thing swimming under the water because that created a very distinct V wake. Yeah, yeah, it just struck again. I almost want to drop a line in the water, but I'd hate to catch a mink like with a hook, you know? Yeah, exactly. You don't want to do that. Well, you just throw a, throw a, like a flower top with a, um, like a bud, you know? Throw like a bud in the water. See if it comes for it. Yeah, so we saw the mink this morning. It started running from that dead tree at that point on the ice along the shoreline. Kind of hopped up, hopped back down, hopped up, hopped back down, and then kept sprinting this way and made it all the way to this point and hopped up and kind of like ran into a couple rocks. Took off. That's cool. Yeah, man. Yeah, they're definitely beautiful. He was looking. I he was looking mints. for food. One ran in front of my Jeep not that long ago. I wonder if that's its tracks on the ice. You see that? See the tracks on the ice? Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, totally. It see? almost looks like where some wind blew something, but no, it's too definitive. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, huh? man, it was, it's been booking across. Weird setup, huh? It's cool. Just making some tea using a modified clove hitch and a power cord. And so the, the rest of the cord isn't hanging over the fire. I have it off to the side. And it's a quick release. So that way I can get my, my rope and pot off of there in a hurry if I have to. Dude, that's a sick Aversack, man. I, I, I remember uh, Larry, that's like the one you gave Larry Roberts, right? Yeah. I won that one. That was the original one. Yeah, I won that with a t-shirt, like on one of his YouTube channels before I even knew who he was. And I got that Aversack, sick Aversack, yeah. Yeah, he, he like, the, I gave him like one, like the first, like, within the first six months of making it. Yeah. He has the original one. I don't think he even has a liner. I don't want him to have a liner. Yeah, that's, that's the, the exact one that I won. It's a good haversack, yeah. I bought I bought a um, navy blue one too for my girlfriend. She loves that. Oh, dude, you got one of the navy blue? Yeah. Yeah, I only made like ten of them. Yeah, me and Ben Pitsley, Ben Pitsley got one. He messaged me. He's like, dude, these are sick. They're more like urban, and and he sent me an article I think where it was like some like some like gun range website, Sofrep or something like that, wrote an article about like the the like man purse for the range or something. And had a picture of like a pistol in the back of it and like yeah, a bunch of rounds like, inside. Yeah, so this is the pocket knife I run. It's a 1950s Camilla Streamline. Carbon steel. It's got a convex blade. Just takes a crazy edge. And you can tell it's been used pretty good, but still really sharp. That rides in my pocket every time I'm in the woods. Of course. Whoa, brutal blade. Oh my goodness, dude. You got a heck of an edge on that. He gave me a, like you can tell how badly that thing's been, or how Dude, well the, it's the, been used. The, the, the logo has been worn off. It's been used for so many years. It's gone. Yeah. Yeah, man. Amazing. Made in New York. That is so cool. Yeah, buddy. Catskill, okay. USA, New York. Love it. Yeah, dude, I don't know. I'm gonna have to like put some of the boxes on the 
his Instagram too. Hey man, I got you up feeding the fire. That I'm appreciative of. It was like, dude, meet the mic is up again, feeding the fire. Yeah man, that's a good yeah, man, that's a great time. Thanks for having us, man. I appreciate it. And I hope you can come out uh, to my camp next weekend. Awesome. <clears throat> what about you? I got the day off work too. We're Perfect. Nice. Mike and Dana there. Jimmy can't make it, huh? Nah. Bummer, man. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be a good time, dude. There's gonna be a lot of people there, too. Yeah. There's probably gonna be like 15 people there. What time, uh, what time are people showing up? Like? Um. Friday during the day, then? Dude, the first I'm gonna be there at like 8 in the morning on Friday. You remember the first time I went, dude? Roland, I didn't never met anyone, dude. Roland's like, yeah, we're gonna go camp out at my buddies. I'm like, alright. Brings me at 8 o'clock in the morning. No one's there. No one's there. Into camp, leaves me for the whole day. Remember, I you I was yeah, camp and I do remember that when like, I showed hey, up here. Who are you? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, uh, <laughs> I do remember that. Yeah, <laughs> it's rolling, dude. That's funny. Oh, is that what it is? The beaver. Is he like comfortable? He's over here now. He's right, right up on the shoreline. You can see the wave. Right yeah. Something, yeah, something's been cruising over here. Yeah. Was that the beaver you saw at that time? Yeah. Yeah. I thought it might have been a mink. We weren't sure. We never got a good look, and the wake was oh, so yeah. small. Yeah, that was the second time. No, yeah, I was like, dude, what do you mean you're leaving? He's like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I got some stuff to do today. And I'm like, why did you bring me here at eight then? That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably be there at eight next weekend. Nice. I, I don't have anything to do Friday. Nice, nice. My wife got the day off for me and stuff. It's cool. Nice, dude. Ah, uh, I love a good yeah. spot of tea in the morning. Yeah, I may, I may be up Friday afternoon, but. Yep. Yeah, I think uh, we had 12 coming. One dropped out. Bill bought a house, and so he had to use his time off to go buy the house oh, up yeah. in Maine instead. So it dropped down to 11, and now those at? two are coming. So now they're up to 14. Is Derek coming? Derek's not coming. He has, uh, he has drill. Oh, that's He's, crazy. He, he was so pissed off about that. Yeah. Yep. Right. Yep. Yep. Bruce is coming. <clears throat> He's coming all the way up from Maryland, man. Yeah, dude, that, that, that dude commutes so far every year for this. Fishing, dude. It's like, I, I want to take him fishing, but his schedule's kind of restricted. Yeah, isn't he a mechanic? Yeah. Yeah. He's a cool he's dude, like, man. Solid hours, though, you know, he's a good worker for him. Yeah. Yeah, man. He's a very cool dude. Yeah, he's a good guy, man. I, I don't want him really well. I always have. He's really good, just genuinely good dude. Exactly. <clears throat> yep. It's super humble too. <clears throat> like, you know, like, you know, that time I went in the army, it was like somewhere in Iraq, but like all the long, you know, and then what that happened. It was like, fucking crazy, man. Hmm. Yeah, he's hardcore, man. Yeah, very humble. Yeah, you know. Love his dog, dude. Love it. I hope he brings think, it again. Things have been things have been pretty good, you know. Got a couple three deer this week. Blah blah blah. My bow. <laughs> dude. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this in the back, man. Yeah. Plenty of fire, man. Right, well. Well. And then he and then he texts me a picture of gutting it with his with his new survival knife. I'm like, yeah, dude, you're the best. Epic. Like covered in blood and hair. I post so posted on Instagram. Like boom. <laughs> That was Bruce's, Bruce's shot. Yeah, dude, look at all that fat in there. And I'm gonna fry potatoes in that with seasoning salt. Make some home fries in that after. Oh, yes. So much winning going on in the woods. That's such a sweet set. He really is, yeah. Because I still have the other side for like, whatever I need for prep or for eating, whatever. Yeah. I can't believe it's stainless, dude. 20 bucks. I think I might even put them on my site. I've been thinking about it for like three years. Because I used to have the military canteen, uh, I mean mug, on my site. It's part of the same kit. Stainless steel, blah, blah, blah. I was just like, I just never did this too, but I could have. And now I'm thinking of I tried to bringing eBay, this back. I get $40 on eBay. Wow. The lowest price one. Whoa, I just got that too hot. I'm going to take these out. you got to go to like the old school on the Navy store where they have like 
giant strip of plow there. Exactly. The back so Yep. Yeah. That's what I do, man. Like, um, to get good deals for my store, I go to Surplus and um, like that old canvas rucksack I used to carry. That like <laughs> I that story. the canvas rucksack, like, you everyone could have needed one? it. You're like, oh, I'll take them all. He's like, okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm like, you know, I'm like, yeah. So how many you have? He's like, up here, like five or six. I'm like, how many have all back? <laughs> He's like, well, what are you talking? I'm like, what are you talking? He's like, well, I, don't know, I can do them for like, well, you know, they retail them for fifty. I'm like, how about twenty a piece? And he's like, well, you gotta buy at least 20. I'm like, I'll take, I'll take 50 right now. He's like, 50 rocks. I don't know if I, if I even have that many. I'm like, check. Comes back. He's like, I got 40 ready to go. I can get you 30 more next week. I'm like, we're on, dude. Shake. What? Every week I went back and bought like 10, 15 more rocks every single time until he had no rocks left. And then he was like, I'm gonna go source some more. I know a guy. Blah blah blah. He started sourcing them in, still gave me the same price. And I sold every rucksack that that guy could touch yeah, that year no and then it was like that ruck didn't exist anymore like it was that's it there was like yeah, one company the italian or? yeah they, the, the italian, italian rucksack there was one company who had it and they yeah. sold them without straps and broken and rusted yeah. and whatever and it was either me or them and people couldn't stand them remember that guy that uh that was the first product in my store <laughs> that guy, uh, George, no, George was trapped, um, something bushcraft he, he started selling the pack too his bushcraft pack and before i even knew you i was i, I Texture, but hey, this guy saw your pack. Yeah, I remember that. What was his name? Oh, I remember. He disappeared. He was on that Doom cover show. Doomsday Preppers? Yeah. He was like a big Yeah, yeah, he was trying to, he was trying to, to, to mimic. He like set up my setup exactly and was like, oh, this is my new rig I just invented or whatever. I'm like, all right, whatever, dude. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's like three years old over here, but right on. What do you mean, Jason? He disappeared. Alabama bushcraft. Jason. Was it? Yeah. He's a clown. Look at his name. Jason. Yeah. I'd love to be on the side of the road. He's a clown. He said that he, uh, he came up with this idea. Um, he was like, yeah, so I came up with this idea. I was in the video. He was like, um, I thought I would use the letters. I think it was like 10 items, so it should be good. So I, I came up with a 10 sheet. Like, yeah. On national TV, he said that. On Tuesday, he said it again on TV too. Tuesday, he said the he said the all the colors lines. He said the three, he said the uh, the uh, five the five C's. Five C's. The five C's. Yeah. And then he said, um, I don't even like that idea of thinking, but it's just it's a very military thing, like using acronyms. For two is none. Like five. Uh, two is one. One is none. He used that term. Yeah, yeah. You know what's uh, funny about that? Because I used to teach the days when the day first started on those first class right there. Yeah. Yeah. I used to teach that that's system for days. So he taught me those things. And that's that's two is one, one is none. He changed the definition. When I first was working with him, two is one. Two ways, two uses for an item. Yeah, that one came out nice. One item's a beast. One use for an item is none. If you can only do one thing, you don't use it. If you use two things, then you use it. It has to be multi-use, every single thing. That's what Dave went over originally. And then, all of a sudden, the store got bigger and all sort of stuff, and he changed it so you should have two of everything, because now he's talking about redundancy. Two fell rods, two knives, two haversacks. Now you can sell two knives. You know, because you can sell two of everything. He didn't have berries. He had some nice little berries. And now, some of meat and good flowers. Yeah. Yes. Again. Dude, the first time we saw it, it like, looked like Jaws, like cruising through the water. There's a wake behind it. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? We're like, it's a fish. It's a, it's a mink. I keep it's noticing. A like, every it's a beaver. Then. Yeah, he's cruising. Though. He's looking for food. Mm -hmm. He's probably eating those tab holes, flipping up rocks, looking for crayfish and whatever. So whatever else is in here, salamanders. Like little caves. Oh, the top of the little caves, massive rock ledges. Dude, after you're talking to Doug, like, I want to like go check out like the, the caves that, that people like used to go and leave pottery in and stuff. He said they're all around here. I think it has a lot of residual heat in it from oh, okay. forming water up. But yeah, I put it on. Yeah, I'd like to make like a 
like a hard oak top for it. Yeah. Not a cast top, like a Dutch, full Dutch oven, but. I'm going to design a spoon, like a heavy duty cooking spoon, yeah. but with a proper notch right there for yeah, so cooking that's bales. That's smart, dude. That's how you just fuck it. How are you doing on beer? How many beers are there? I don't know. I should probably make there be one last. Yeah. Yeah. I have one. I have another one. I'm probably going to cook it to see what I've had. Like I've used it, but it's like using a can over you have to think about how it works, right? Yeah. 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 You did it! Right? Yeah, yeah. that's how I use well, it. Like, I, I open beers all or the time. spine of my knife. So I can pull it out of my pocket easier. Oh, uh, yeah, so you don't have the edge. So I don't have the edge, yeah. Oh, then what? Garlic chunks. In the home fries. Oh yeah, the pot hook we were just talking about. Jeez, no, use that. No more. It's crazy what they put bottle openers on. They almost like make me angry. I bought a pair of flip flops and there was a bottle opener and I used that. I'm like, what? And like as these things wear through, I'm gonna be standing on metal. Like, why would you do that? Belt buckles, wedding rings, Dude. hats. I'm, I'm I've seen one on the brim of, brim of the hat as a bottle opener. I'm like, They've got a meat scramble going on here. Serious meat going on. Go pasta and bacon. Yup. Yeah. Yeah. Have for hot pot. Next time I'm in Chinatown, dude, I'll send you some pictures if you want, and I'll grab you one. Yeah, dude. I'd like I mean, hot pot. Like is basically that. just like steamed veg and like you know, but they use these little tiny pot belly pots for it. Yeah. Because I have like a few pieces. Where, like I'm not gonna carry that out for myself. Yeah. I'm camping alone. Super popular. But like my. Put some water and oil in there. Yeah. I want like I want a cast. Got a good fry going on. It's gonna be delicious. Yeah. yeah. We've got tons of meat going on in the yeah. back. Yeah. I'll show you that real quick. My bad guys, real quick. Yeah, no, they'll fight like like something for the and like bacon that. going on. That's going to be terrible, I'm sure. Yeah, over here we have, yeah. what, deer chili? Yeah. Unreal, man. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Hot, hot restaurant. Look at that. Look at that. Cool thing. Yeah. No, I could pick it up for you, too. Eat somewhere, maybe. Yeah, it's like a cool thing in Boston hot pot. You know, you yeah. like, it's yeah. like basically like fondue for Asian restaurants. Oh, they give girl? you a little pot, steamed vegetable. Yeah. You do your dim sum and like, you know. Mix it all together and steam your vegetables. You can get your little sprinkles. Oh, yeah. Steam those. It's going to stick anyway, but I threw a little bit in before I heated it up. Yeah, those eggs are good, man. Nice and orange. I'm going to try and make a venison stew. Round two. Round two. All right. You all set Round on that? Round three, actually. I had two last night. Nice. These are the type of videos that people watch when I sit in the office. Oh, I wish I was camping. I wish I was camping. Eggs, I don't know. Eggs, deer stew, home fries. Top of photos. It's really cool to make that. Dude, Micah, your rag's falling apart in the eggs, dude. Oh, no. Yeah, I was like, what is that? How'd I get that? Well, this is a terrible breakfast. I have eggs, home fries, and venison stew. I don't know how I'm gonna deal with this. Brutal. There are just a few chunks left and I took them and put them in my other fire pit. It doesn't seem like there's hot spots even. Yeah, no. I'm going to soak it down just because we're going to have a bunch of water anyway. Yeah, it's a responsible thing to do. Yeah. But it's like, it's not bad. No, not at all. Something for first project for my ass. God. I want to make a thing <laughs> bowl that nests yep. in the cast iron. Nice. So I can carry like eggs. Oh yeah. Take the whole thing. Like a little 
pantry basket. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Bacon, and fries, eggs. Put a chunk of cheese in there. Got some venison stew in a minute. Could be worse, huh? Mm -hmm. Some garlic in with the potatoes. Forget about it. I'll tell you what, though, if you do this for you know, two or three days and you're eating all this good campfire food, you know, like, whenever I get out of the woods, I'll get that cook like a little bit. Like, you know, you can eat the salt and the rice. Yeah. It was like, I always get out of the woods and, like, get the food and stuff in my body. Right for me, it's like Dr. Pepper and the Snickers. Yeah, something like that. I did the, like, four days in the woods. I went to Wendy's after I spent some time. Wendy's? Yeah. Wendy's. Spicy chicken sandwich. So nice. <laughs> right. I don't know, I usually don't eat that, but I don't know, they're so full. I don't think it's just crazy to walk there. I spent a couple of nights up there in that room at night. Before we spell out of the woods, we're just going to get pizza. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come on the mountains after like three days of uh, hiking, and like, you go to the pizza place and eat like a whole bunch of pizza. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like, more just like a craving for like, just things to be boring for a second. That's yeah. kind of what I think. Like, I just want to have somebody, somebody give me my food. Just give me something boring and normal yeah. and we'll pay for yeah. it when we get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> and you're used to it, too. Yeah. yeah. Used to, it's, it's like brings all like memories of home. Like I usually eat so heavy. In the woods, that when I get home, I'm like, I just, I just drink like almond milk for like two days. <laughs> yeah, I go home else. and drink like, Eat, like cold fruit. water, fed <laughs> out. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. Take a nap on like my rocking chair. Oh man, shower water. Dude, that nap. sounds awesome. <laughs> Piece of toast. Mm -hmm. So, do you guys want to fool with kind of a little funky crossing behind this dam and then it's kind of a quicker hike out? Not for right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't care. Cool. I hear the water over there. There's something going on. Yeah. That's what the Beaver Dam is? I want to see the Beaver Dam. Yeah. yeah. It's crossing out Face high, hemlock gets cleared, and yeah. everyone's yeah. breaking. Yeah, it's like that's fire. the best part about a campsite. The more you use it, yeah. the better it gets. Absolutely. Like, to a point. Yeah. Yeah, and that, guess, then you have to stop being smart. To a point, then I'll look for another spot for a little while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like and let it recover, you know? Yeah. yeah. This venison stew is on point, bro. Thanks, man. Michael hooked it up. Been cooking my chili mm. since uh, 16. Venison slight, chili? Slight tweaks. Nah, it's whatever, whatever meat. Oh, right, right. Usually it's stupid good. I do it, but it's stupid good. Yeah. I got that. I got one thing figured out. Anyway. <laughs> He's just doing his dishes, cleaning out the rest. No one's eating. Un just unbelievable. Yeah, grab that off the water. Cool. Cool. Bring it right up and dump it. Yeah, it does. And then mm. fill it up again mm. and put a little mm. oil on it here. This is three Z's for me.
All right, well, thanks for hanging out with YouTube. We're gonna pack out of here. Some guys already left. Just cleaned up camp. And uh, this is Mitch, Native Survival. Malcolm from the Hidden Woodsman. Micah from Any Wilderness. Catch you guys later. See ya. Like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Smash that like button. <laughs> Potter's very in with the green. This stuff is so good. Alright. You gotta go the long way, you guys. It's pretty flooded. Okay. Look at that. That looks very flooded. There's like ponds and stuff over here. Yeah. It'd be cool. It was just great to walk away from camp and know that everything is getting taken care of. Yeah, I mean, I me and Shane enjoyed staying at camp and yeah. doing maintenance on it, finding firewood, bucking it up, and you know, yeah. you know wait to make dinner soon. So, yeah, it's part of camp tasks. Yeah, this is just, uh, Beautiful woodland. Beautiful woodland. It's all beach. A couple sassafras. A couple ironwood. Yep. camp and they're still all there now. It's sort of like I can't just bring like I don't want to just leave these perfect square pieces of birch bark in the woods, you know? Right. It's like weird, but it's not litter, but it's still like strange. No, it's still very valuable. Yeah. So I rolled them all up and packed them over there. I actually I had a cool picture, Malcolm. That was like right after I got your pack. Remember when I had the big rolls of birch bark in it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was from that site. Yeah, one of these days I'm gonna find enough birch. I'm gonna feel, you know, I'm gonna feel happy and not worried that I'm messing up things. Yeah. And I want to make a um, lean-to or, or a wiki, like a like a half circle lean-to. Yeah. Kind of like the 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 Algonquin lean-to. Yep. And make it all uh, birch bark. Mine was kind of like uh, like a wigwam shape. Totally, exactly. Around, uh, maybe hip height. Yeah. But it ended up being like a lot bigger than that just because I was building it. And so like it was too big to shingle it. But... Alright. But... Yeah, make a frame, lash them and all that stuff. Yeah. 